Good afternoon, travelers. This is a bit of an unusual video, kind of a little scary thing happening in our neighborhood. Nope, it's not my hair. Today is Wild Hair Wednesday, so there it is, Wild Hair Wednesday. Anyway, um, a lot of you that are out there watch my friend Ed's channel called um, Nomad Ranch, and you watch my friend uh, Pandemonium, and uh, we have another neighbor out that lives right there with them as well. They all have separate properties, and uh, but their properties are joined by a little road. Anyway, they have a property right behind them that is owned by a nonprofit, and they are contemplating putting in a facility to house recovering addicts. Now, I have been informed that it is addicts ranging from drugs, alcohol, pornography, and the like. Now, this facility that is being put in will have no fencing. It's on 40 acres. It will have a big 6,000 square foot building, kind of a dormitory style building from what I can see on the plans. And there's plans for expansion in the future to add 30 more beds. Right now the beds are for men only and in the future they will have women. We live an hour and a half away from any emergency facility at all and that's on a good day. If it's raining or snowing that increases to two hours. There is no fire department out here. There is no police department out here. There is a police presence of one. There's a couple of uh, state troopers that do monitor the road that goes through our little town. So if you're in a hurry, I suggest you slow down because they ticket people every day. Other than that, the police presence is just not here. The property area out here is zoned agricultural residential area so homesteading single family homes that's what it's been designed for way back in the 1980s now this particular place would have to get what they call a special use permit to allow a facility to be put in here now we're talking people here that from the letter that I've seen will not have cell phones they will not have TV they will not have internet they will not have their alcohol or their drugs they will probably be allowed to smoke but that's about it um, they will not have visitors but once maybe twice a year now that's family visitors because my understanding that all the 12 step programs out there or other addicting programs have sponsors so they probably and I don't know this for sure would have a sponsor. Each one would have their own sponsor. So that doubles the amount of people driving in and out. The roads out here are awful. Some of you have seen my videos where they flood and they get really deep. You've got to have four-wheel drive to get out here. So this particular facility is only a mile away from my place. It's borders my friend's place. Now we go over to my friend's often. In fact, I'll be spending the next month there. Uh, that's when all of us get together and we'll be celebrating Aja, who is Pandemonium's birthday. And we'll be celebrating some other birthdays as well in September. Then when the weather turns cold, we'll be leaving. And we'll be leaving uh, for... Some of us will leave. Some of us won't leave. I, I know there's some that are staying here. But some of us leave and we go travel south for the winter. Now... I don't know about y'all, but um, this bothers me deeply that a group can come in and have absolutely nothing to do, no way to stay on this prescribed property, 
no way to leave from here and we're talking six miles out to the nearest road no way to get emergency medical help no way to have police presence if there's a problem you've got 30 pent-up men in a facility with one maybe two employees watching them at a time that does not sound like a recipe for goodness for me now this particular nonprofit has four or five facilities in the area that they operate out of and in any one of them could house some of these guys instead of building a whole brand new facility in the middle of nowhere how are these guys going to get employment opportunities how are they going to get rehabilitated back into the community that's non-existent so I am doing this video at the request of my friend Ed from Nomad Ranch and I'm just throwing it out there so that we can get some backing if any of you my subscribers live in the Williams uh, Valley Grand Canyon area please leave a comment so that we can contact you maybe let you know how you can help stop this atrocity from ever ever happening I appreciate that anyway like I said this is a different kind of video and that's all I've got to say about that as a wise guy by the name of Forrest Gump says that's all I have to say about that anyway follow your heart embrace your dreams and get out there and do something fun and treat your neighbors with respect yes I'm not against a rehabilitation center as long as there's rehabilitation going to go on this is in the middle of nowhere and that's impossible anyway we'll talk to you later bye bye